Alright, time for another sea team adventure. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this one, the rec room. So, let's do it. Anthropic Principle. This is... The rec room. It's the new year. Huh. The vote was at 1330. So we slept for over ten and a half hours. Well, not necessarily. Right. Zero explained it earlier. Once 90 minutes are on, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. Uh, we might have just forgotten we did. So, we've woken up a bunch of times already? Something horrible could have happened, and we don't remember it. And I can't even think about it without getting chills. In some situations. No good. It's locked. So it's like usual and we're trapped? How about a drink to pass time then? There's a lot of things we can do here. Uh, Junpei, in 90 minutes, we'll... Uh, I'm kidding. Um, when you said drink, did you? Well, we are 22, you know. I'm no longer that little boy who played Old Maid with you years ago. Is that so? True. Looks, tastes, and other superficial things change with time. But there must be something inside you that's still the same. Background Swimming, time. Going to festivals, getting into snowball fights in the schoolyard. During the incident with the rabbits, you protected me, didn't you? What about it? The Junpei from back then? He must be somewhere. <laughs> Says the one of us who changed first. Uh, no. You might not have changed at all. <laughs> it's just me seeing things I missed before. Let me tell you something, Junpei. Say what you need to, while there's time to say it. Uh, Carlos! <laughs> the hell? You make it sound like I'm some brat who lies to himself. Once, I couldn't save my parents because of my inexperience. You? Wait, you weren't a firefighter then? I was 18. I'd only just passed the test. I'd come home after buying a birthday present for my sister. At that point, I had arrived before the fire department had. That's why I... Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! I managed to save my sister, but not my mother and father. It was because of their support that I could become a firefighter. And I... I was never able to even thank them. Sorry. I kind of brought the mood down. Anyway, I just wanted to say, I don't want the two of you to end up having any regrets. If you have something to say, say it while you're alive. Huh. While we're alive. Please don't say that. It's bad luck. <laughs> Good point. Okay. Let's find a way out of here. Yeah, yeah. That is the first step to staying alive. Seek a way out. Let's do this. Oh, I, yeah, I love this chin. Ooh, what's this? Hold on, this thing's holding something in its right hand. It's a fire hook. Oh, that looks dangerous. Okay. What's this? Jam? It's jam 100% pure? Carlos, why are you staring at it? Do you recognize it? 
Yeah, my sister really loves this. I brought it for her a lot. Take some in the morning and you'll be strong and beautiful inside and out. Gem 100% pure. I'd hear her quote that ad all the time. It's great you have such a fond memory, but she should never make your voice that high. It sounds like a TV commercial lane to young girls. Ah, uh, Gem 100% pure. Never thought I'd see it again. This is a chess rule book. Are we supposed to check it? Um, okay. It's basically explaining all the different paths they can take. I already know all that. Hmm, the chess board doesn't want to open, but I don't see anything keeping it shut. Hey, is there something off about the word chess? Um, chess there, or is it just me? Um, yeah, that's backwards. That's a six, not, that, that's an, is that the right way? No, that's the wrong way it's meant to be. The E in the chess is mirrored. That's it, that's why it's filled off. Why is it mirrored? Is it a typo? What's wrong, Junpei? Why are you staring at it so hard? Oh, I just thought maybe it was one of those dual motion sensor activated things. You know, something stuck in the helmet. Chart with letters on the alphabet on it. Ooh, okay. And there's also this. Maybe we can use this fire hook to open the cover. Uh, awesome, we got it out. Ooh, the C. Five, five, six, four, three? It's a wooden hammer. We could probably use this somewhere. We should take it with us. So we have to hit out the C, maybe? Why are you so serious, Junpei? It's just that tower of cards. My fingers are itching to knock it down. Same here, but it'd be a shame to destroy all that hard work. Tower, let's knock it down. Huh? <laughs> Some cards are sticking out on the table. They purposely taunted us to top of the cards so we'd see this. There's a minus and a plus sign and an equal sign. Must be a math equation. Wait, this is Sad Man 570. There's something special about this wine. There's a legend about this bottle, you're not supposed to have a drink it. It's so bad, wine experts everywhere lose their will to live up to tasting it. It's like Pandora's box, but with wine. It'll be alright if you open it, please don't drink it. <laughs> There's water. Glass of bottle. Water. Drama dramas on TV always have one of these things as a murder weapon. Really? Water as murder weapon? That that's funny. A A. This is the roulette wheel, just like the one you find in the casinos. There's some kind of input here. Let's test it out. Oh, I need to figure out what it is. Oh. Wait. Doesn't the archive do something about this? Okay, so the second on the second row. So it's S I N P S I N P Spin. We can even put letters of the alphabet here. Yep, cool. Ah, coin. Oh, the wheel detached. It flew into the air. All we have to do is input the corresponding letter from the chart. Well, that was more straightforward than I expected from this place. Interesting. There's something here under the wheel. It's a coin. Nice. Well, they are shiny. It reminds you of money. <laughs> okay. Maybe we hit the sea with this hammer. Boombo. Cylindrical piece came out. Ah, so this is how the chest ball was locked. That was pretty tricky. Ooh. Hi. This is a small wooden box. Maybe we can use it for something. Let's take it with us. Um, how about we smash it open? Don't have the hammer anymore. Damn it. The thing we got had a solution thing. We have to guess from this which pieces would go where. So this one would be a rook because it only goes long ways or sideways. This would be a king because it only goes one space but everywhere. And this would be a bishop. So it would be a, 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 a rook, bishop, king. King. Yes, it opened. Something came out. A coin and a note with numbers on it. Well done, Carlos. Uh, 05, 28, 21, 26. Alright. Is that something we have to put in somewhere? Sunset 24. And why are you shouting, Jupe? You don't know, Carlos? They're super rare. You can't find them anywhere else. 
I remember I remember our slogan when I was a kid, the setting sun at 24, perfect match. Man, I always want to be cool, it's just a cigarette. Why do you have to do with B20? Why do you have to be 24 to smoke? Whatever, you said it's rare. Matches, they don't feel wet, so we can still use them. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. I have to burn the wooden box. So... How about we start a fire with these matches? Now we have a fire! Seeing a fire in a warm fireplace during winter makes me warm. Really now. Alright, now let's throw in the box. The wooden box, are you gonna burn it in the fire? I was just wondering what could happen, but the contents inside would burn too. I see it for a second. And in you go! <laughs> Junpei, no! Why did you do that? You just gotta have faith to these things, or you'll end up never moving around forward. <laughs> Alright. Uh let's put out the fire then. Let's use this bottle of water to put out the fire. And what happens to the box? Well, I don't want to put my hand in there, so... If we use this fire hook, we can poke around inside the fireplace. Is that a coin underneath the ashes? I guess tossing in the box was the right thing to do after all. Let's grab it. Yeah, yeah, we got three coins so far. Awesomeness. Okay, if I'm right, the spinning roulette thing goes here. Hey, the power turned on when I was in... Put, when I put the roulette wheel here. Cool, so now if I touch down here, it's extreme slots on the bottom. Extreme, huh? Well, it better live up to the expectations. Real should be turned on now if you pull the lever. Ooh! What, three sevens on the first bin? Jackpot! Oh, something small came out of the bottom. So this is what came out of the machine. Looks like a puzzle piece, it's too bad it's not coins. What can we use them for? A total of 10 pieces, and they're all different sizes. Uh, we can probably make a shape with them, but it's going to be hard with them all different. Alright. Maybe we can make a hard shape with these pieces here. Oh god, this is going to be... Oh god, are you kidding me? Well, I'm assuming this is going to be a little easy. Mainly because we can't spin them, so... As long as we figure out what spot would be best, I think we'll be fine. But, oh my god. Can we spin them? Um. Oh, click piece. Oh no, we can spin them. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. This is like, evil. Oh crap. What am I doing with my life? I've been doing this for too long. Trial and error, trial and error, fuck it out. Think I've almost got it though. Holy crap, this is annoying. Um what would go here? No, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense either. Oh, there is just an empty one right here. That, that's funny. Um, did I mess up? Is this not meant to go there? Okay, that would make sense. I don't care. Just need to figure out what goes here. God damn it. What the hell am I missing? I'm going to go and assume this goes here. Okay, I think I've got it this time. Could be wrong about that one, so I'm not gonna try just yet. Oh, damn it, wasn't meant to do that. Damn it, just let me get this right, please. Oh boy, I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying right here. I really am, I don't like this level. It's annoying the hell out of me. There, I made a heart. Are you happy, game? Boomba.
God damn it, that was annoying. Yeah, we made a heart shape. Something came out of the bottom. A coin and a card calendar. Awesome, we got four of them now. And a card calendar. So it's telling me what each one is. So A, all the way... A is one because it's ace, and then it goes ten, and then it goes jack, and queen. The card calendar is a different card behind each month. January ace, November jack, and December queen. It works, but it's still strange. I wonder why the first layer is emphasized. And there's this weird barker in the back. Hey, the card calendar we got from the slot machine. Think it'd work here? It went in and the jukebox started playing music. Oh look, these buttons that look like the dice fell out. Interesting. Three dice on the floor range from one to six. I wish you could relax and play board games with us with these, but let's just take them with us. Alright, and I'm guessing we're putting him in here. You know, I think the dice will fit here. Let's find out. Cool, I'm guessing the the number that will become is what this equals. So ace is one. Okay, the card equation. Uh, what would, um, why would only the kings be ripped up? Because the kings aren't necessary. The cards say only go up. Uh, the cards say only go up to queen. Maybe they'd say the numbers only go up to 12? Only to 12, hmm? So this one would be eight. Okay, so ace, eight, and three. So that'd be 183. Let me write this down. Hundred and eighty three. Um ten two queens. Maybe? Yeah, two queens. So that'd be eleven each. Wait, are we adding them together or Queens Kings are ripped off only up to twelve, sort of like the months in a calendar year. Oh maybe when we Oh we're meant to use the calendar. Okay, so they're actually spelling words, never mind. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So... A, J, uh, 8, A, what was the other one? 3, M. Huh, the music went out. Jam. So, 100? Because that's 100%. Maybe it means odds is in like... Oh, here, maybe? No. Up here? Yep, odds. 35. Okay. I was wondering, where have we seen odds? So, it would be 100, 670, it'd be 705. Wait, sure, wait, 700? What? Just three digits. Maybe it's at the locker and we need a certain numbers? We should try some combinations then, Carlos. Oh, wait, no, the last one was the takeaway. Hang on. So it's um it's jam takeaway odds. Uh, did you see that? It was like my mouse was in the center and it just disappeared. See? That's funny. Um, takeaway odds at seventy-five, so it's six hundred and forty-five. Oh. What? <laughs> of course, random numbers don't work. No! I did it one more extra. Okay. 635. Nope. Okay. Okay. I, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Um. So, gem takeaway odds would be 65. Onto the 570 would be 635, right? Am I missing something? I believe I am missing something. What am I missing? 
I have a limit of how much texture I can use. That's hilarious. <laughs> I just realized that. It's like, what? Anyway, um, 100, take away 35, equals 650, plus 570, equals 635. It should be it. Unless I have to move them around, like, it could be 365 troll, I know. Okay. Nothing's happening. I think the cards on the table make an equation. Maybe solving it will give us the answers for the dice. Or maybe it's going up. No, okay. It has to be 635. Didn't the cards on the table make an equation? I know they made an equation. I hate this. What is it? I don't get it. Did I read the odds thing wrong? Odds equal 35%. I don't get it. <sighs> but I did that before! Didn't I? 635! Yes, that means the right combination gave me item. Well, we're pretty lucky. I didn't think setting them to random numbers would work. We didn't set them to random numbers, though. What? Uh, my head. Fine. Oh my god, my head. We have to go individually? Oh my god. This game can go die in a hole. And now we finally have all five then. I'm gonna go through our footage and see what I actually put in. See how stupid I was. Yes, we did it. The class covering the button is open. So putting these coins here did open the case. Thank god we can finally push this button. But does it really open the door? You know, you're right, it could be a trap. It always happens in movies, the bad guys rush to push the button. Uh, Carlos, it's the um, leader's job to do this kind of thing. What, you're the one who wanted to push it so badly? I guess it's probably not going to explode or anything. Okay, I am the eldest here, so I'll do the pushing. Oh, uh, thank god. That was rather annoying. Whoa! Ah, uh, hi. The rules to the decision game will now be explained. The decision game... Rules? This decision game utilizes the three dice located during the room search. So, uh, these then. That's cruel. Everyone in the room will be gunned down. What? What? Oh my god. What the hell is this shit? This this isn't even a fucking game. The time limit is 1 minute. If all of the dice are not rolled within that time limit, everyone will be gunned What are the odds? Huh? Uh, the odds will get all the dice to roll a one. Oh, um, it's one two hundred and sixteenth, so about zero point four six percent. Zero point four six? Gatling guns operational in thirty seconds. 
Shit, there's no time. Just roll them. Come on. God damn it! I can't die here. There's still something I need to say. Huh? Ten. Nine. Uh, okay then, here we go. Come on. Pray hard. If we pray, then it's gotta. Let's roll. Oh god. Well, crap. Wait, 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 wait. That one doesn't count. Oh, uh, um, I uh, uh Your hand slipped. That was it, right? Yeah, what she said. Uh, you, you wouldn't mind a little do-over, right? Zero? <laughs> yeah, about that. Oh, okay, uh, I guess you're not the mulligan type. There! Get on the other side of the bar! Hurry! <laughs> Lay flat on the ground, I doubt the machine guns can go down. I could be wrong, though. This should work. Oh boy. Oh crap. That's dark. Let me guess. They've been mutilated. Now announcing the current casualties. Q team. Q. Mira. What? C team. Carlos, Junpei, Akane. These eight are now deceased. What am the Diana and Sigma? So Phi gets to escape, I guess. Game over. You tried. Oh, Lady Luck, please be on my side again. This time, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, fuck you. Choice is made. Fuck you. Come on. Third time's the charm. Third time is the charm. Yes! Third time is the charm. No way! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh, yes! Yes! Hell yeah! Morph genetic fields, baby. We're alive! We're actually alive! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's so happy! Except 215 hey, versions of us died. Why are the two of you just standing there? Guys, it's 1 216! <laughs> we just got a miracle! Uh, yeah. No, technically. You're, you're right. I just. Maybe Akane will mention it. it. We're. alive, right? <laughs> of course we're alive! <laughs> what? Do, do I look like a ghost to you? Or an undead zombie? <laughs> if I was, then my heart wouldn't be pounding a mile a minute right now. <laughs> the way he's walking. <laughs> Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. We definitely gotta have a toast back in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? Hurry up! <laughs> I don't think I've seen Junpei this excited since grade school. I guess he's still the same guy you knew underneath, huh? Hmm. I'm really glad. Me too. That we're alive, or...? Both. <laughs> ah, 
nothing beats a cold one after surviving a close call. <laughs> Come on! You guys should join me. Sorry. I'll pass. I'm really not in the mood for it. <laughs> for real? Are you serious? Hey, are you already drunk? Yeah, I am! <laughs> drunk on life! I am buzzed <laughs> on this kick-ass feeling of surviving the impossible! Hmm, you probably shouldn't drink too much, Junpei. Haha, <laughs> why not? We're just going to conk out again in 40 minutes anyway, remember? We just experienced the miracle of hitting 1 216th odds, 0.46%, guys, come on! <laughs> Let's use the remaining time we have to savor this awesome moment. Hmm, a miracle, huh? It definitely would be, if it happened on the first try. Guys, what are you saying? We only threw the dice once, right? Are you sure about that? Maybe it's the third time for me. We just don't remember. And in reality, we've rolled the dice over and over again. Huh? They jumped if each we time threw they died. Them three times, the probability would be 72 to 1. I wouldn't really call those odds a miracle. Oh, so what? Does that really matter? <laughs> I'll say it again. We've only gone and thrown the dice once. Once. <laughs> right, Carlos? Yeah, that's true. What are you trying to say, Akane? Carlos, let's say you were going to roll ten dice all at the same time. So, do you think you'd end up with all of them displaying a one? Of course not. It's impossible. Right. The probability is 60,466,176 to 1, but that's essentially impossible. If you tried 60,466,176 times, however, what would happen? The likelihood of all of them being one is... Not so much of an impossibility, right? I'll give you another example. Junpei, if two to the fourth power, 16 people, compete in a rock, paper, scissors tournament, how many matches are needed before a winner can be determined? Why are you talking about... Just answer the question. Uh, really? Okay. I'm too drunk for this. Uh, first, the 16 narrow down to eight, then eight to four and four to two. After the final round, uh, one person's left standing, so... Uh, a, a total of four? So, what would happen if two to the 100 did the same thing? Hmm. It'd be a hundred. And how confident do you feel about winning this tournament, Junpei? I'm not, obviously. You're out of the competition after you lose just one match. You'd have to win a hundred rounds straight to win. But someone will do it and win, right? A victor who wins a hundred matches without losing one will exist. Do you know what I'm trying to say? The person who won, won. But only because of circumstance. I mean, more or less. Well, duh. But why are you... It may be obvious, but it's important. The one who lives on does so due to circumstance. The Anthropic Principle. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, it's connected to the many worlds and multiverse theories. The hell are you... This universe is a little too well suited for human beings. That principle explains why. They say, for example, that if Jupiter was just a bit smaller, the Earth likely wouldn't have even formed. That's not the only instance, either. There are physical constants throughout the universe. But if even one had changed the tiniest bit, humanity wouldn't have been created at all. But anyone can see we do actually exist. 
And that's exactly my point. We exist. Therefore, we know that we exist. Perhaps somewhere in reality, there are countless universes devoid of humanity where the idea of humans didn't even begin. But it isn't possible to know if those other universes exist or not. That's because there are no human beings to observe within them. The only universe we can measure is our own. Therefore, this is the universe we exist in. Wait, are, are you talking about tautology? One plus one equals two is a form of tautology also, right? The left and right sides of the equation say the same thing. That's sophistry. Are you sure? Anyway, I get what you're trying to say, Akane. Maybe, somewhere in this world, there are an infinite number of histories where we were executed by the Gatling guns. But we don't know if those histories really exist. Basically, uh, because we're dead in those histories. The dead can't observe the world. Only those who are still alive can do that. Therefore, we exist here, now. The opposite of what I just explained could be true as well. The universe could be not meant for humanity. Maybe there's one not limited by gravity, where they travel faster than light. You can't say for sure such a universe doesn't exist. If it does, then we could expect that aliens would be interacting together within it. Okay, now that sounds like fun. Maybe that was the universe God had intended in the first place. And this one is a failure. So we exist in the universe God abandoned, huh? What's the matter? Ah, uh, you guys talking like this, I I don't feel like drinking anymore. <laughs> Kinda getting the feeling I was an idiot for acting like we won the lottery. I mean, don't you agree? There could be a history somewhere out there that's happier than ours right now. Then maybe it's really true. We might be in the history God abandoned. Now announcing the current casualties. Q-Team, Q, Mira, Eric, D-Team, Diana, Sigma. These five are now deceased. As a result, five X-Passes will be revealed. I, Kill, Fool, Moon, Fate. That is all. No. That means... Only Phi is still alive. Sorry. Uh, forget what I just said. Huh. Seems like we're the ones with the best luck. God hasn't gone and abandoned us. What do you mean? <laughs> Didn't you hear that announcement? Five X-Passes were released. The only one left to die is Phi from D-Team, and then we... Whoa, yeah, that he deserved that, to be honest. Junpei! Don't you ever say that, even if it's a joke. He really deserved that. Okay. <sighs> that was, uh... That was pretty long, but hopefully you guys understood what you meant by the anthropic tr principle and the tautology thing. I understand it. It would be very hard to recap it, because it's very complicated. But mainly what she means is that the more the chance of something happening, uh, the more chance it takes. Like, for example, a 0.46%, which is a 216, a 1 over 216 chance. There are 216 histories where we did that, and only one of them is a success. The lottery would be even worse, because it depends how much people take the lottery, and even then it depends how much numbers there are to begin with. There's an infinite number of numbers 
for the lottery, unless, of course, there's only a simple number, I don't know. But in my idea, there's an infinite number, infinite number, which means there's an infinite number of possibilities of people losing. But in the end, each history will always have a winner. <laughs> so yeah, it basically means that the more the chance, the more histories where people have failed and there's only one where they've actually won it. So, that's basically what that puzzle was all about. <laughs>